It's about being victims of fashion. And this was Doug's uh, suggestion, my dear friend Doug, who helped me build a chicken coop for my birthday last week and, um, and other friends. I have now four hens and a movable chicken tractor to till and manure the soil so that I can have uh, no work in planting a garden. You just have the chickens do the work and then they give you eggs. What a deal. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, I got off the topic. I was playing at a festival in Australia, and they, I, I was in the green debate, and um, the topic of debate was, is or is not the environment a victim of weapons of mass distraction? And um, I was on the affirmative team to say that it was, and Doug suggested um, saying that we can be distracted by fashion following advertisers' big billboards of what we should do and be, and uh, it's easy to get bought up in their dream which has very little to do with what's best for us or our planet, usually. And uh, nothing more well illustrated than by the incredible bit of legislature we passed about the Clean Air Act. And in the wake of that, the auto industry absolutely in a panic, thinking they couldn't make cars clean enough for us. So what they did, there was a little loophole that said trucks are exempt. So they made luxury cars on top of truck chassis. And at a time when all the cars were getting smaller and smaller, Suddenly there are these big advertisements everywhere with these gigantic four-wheel drive things. And um, that was the, that's why we all suddenly started deciding we needed four-wheel drives to drive back and forth on the freeway. And um, <coughs> it's amazing what a bit of fashion will do to our better ideas, I think. That's changing, but uh, it's interesting traveling the world because you see on, down the pipeline, when we get tired of our cars and they pollute too much, we send them to a second world nation and then to a third world nation. And I got to play in Bangladesh, and the air pollution in Dakar is worse than anywhere in the world. And now the first cause of death is, um, is actually pneumonia because of the pollution. It's no longer starvation. And it's because they get the very polluting two-stroke, single-stroke machines that we won't have in our fancy countries. But one of my favorite things in Australia, I think it's very funny, they use different language for everything. And, um, they have these cars, <laughs> you know how we have, uh, we have brand names of cars, model numbers and names and all that. Over there they have this four-wheel drive by Mitsubishi called a Pajero. Well, most of us who know any Spanish swear words know that that means wanker. And uh, <laughs> it's quite funny when one cuts you off and you go, you Pajero, and it's like, oh, it says so right on the back. <laughs> SUV belongs to Sierra Club, belongs to Greenpeace, drive to the M store, the health food markets, drive on concrete, and drive on asphalt to pose the war in Iraq, 12 miles to the gallon, are we free thinkers, or are we victims of fashion? Well, in the other happy song and third world sweat shops, no compassion. Are we free thinkers or are we victims of fashion? Show. 